Hello everyone, welcome to another new session of Math Facilitator and we have started Easy Math series wherein we are discussing the tips and techniques to make your calculations easier and faster. So as we have already discussed a couple of multiplication tricks and I got a good response for it. So I thought why not discuss a few more tricks to make your calculations easier. And if you have not watched the previous videos of this series then do go and watch because these tips and techniques of this series will definitely help you in your calculation so let us get started now you can see that i have taken few examples so in all these examples there is one thing in common can you observe so as you can see the tenth digit is common in all the questions that means you have a two and two four and four five and five that means the tenth digit is same for all the numbers clear and you can also see that the units digit, the sum of the units digit is 10. So 6 plus 4 is 10, 8 plus 2 is 10 and 3 plus 7 is 10. So when these two conditions satisfy which means the tens digit should be same and units digit should, the sum should be 10. Then you can use the technique which I am telling you and trust me you can just multiply within seconds. So let us see. So as you can see that the rule satisfies for all the numbers. So now let us start answering. So now the last two digits, the units and tens digits, you will get it by just multiplying the ones digit. Okay. So 6 and 4 gives you 24. Clear? So now what do you do next? So you multiply this 2 with the next number of 2. The next number of 2 is 3. So you multiply 2 with 3. So 2 3s are 6 and this is the answer. Very simple. Yes. So let us see the next example. So you multiply 8 and 2 to get the last two digits. Okay. So 8 2s are 16. Clear. And now you multiply 4 with the next number of 4. So next number of 4 is 5. So 4 5s are 20. So this is the answer 2 0 1 6. Now here also the last two digits you get it by multiplying the ones place okay so 3 7s are 21 clear now 5 is multiplied by the next digit of 5 which is nothing but 6 so 5 6s are 30 so you write it 30 at the beginning so this is the answer it is a very simple technique and very easy technique and trust me you can just calculate within seconds as you have already seen so the only thing you have to check for is the tens place has to be same and the units place the sum of the units place should be 10 and for checking this you will need say 2 seconds and for doing this you will need 3 seconds so within 5 seconds you can just complete the multiplication before moving on to the next example let me tell you that i'll provide you the worksheets if you text me to the whatsapp number given in the description box below so these worksheets are completely free of cost and you can have good practice with these worksheets so do text me to get your worksheets watch the video practice the worksheets within half an hour and then you'll be perfect with the concept and you'll be perfect with your calculations so do text me for your your worksheets and now let us move to the next example so here i have taken 39 into 31 as i told you that by multiplying the units digits you will get the last two digits of the answer okay so here nine ones are nine okay but you want the last two digits so nine you will write it as zero nine clear so why did we write nine as zero nine since in our answer we want the last two digits and these two digits will get by the multiplication of the units place but here in this case by multiplying the units place you are getting only nine so nine you cannot accommodate in two digits so you are writing it as zero nine and this doesn't make any difference nine or zero nine is the same value so we have written nine as zero nine clear till here now next three you will multiply with the next number of three next number of three is four so three fours are 12 so this is the answer simple so this might be one of the cases when you solve your problems and now let us take another example here also you can see that this is 12 and 12 okay that means the digits are same the number is same 12 and 12 and you have 4 and 6 now 4 plus 6 is 10 so the sum of the units place is 10 and here after the units place you have the same number 12 and 12 so here also you can use the technique clear so how do you do this now the last two digits is nothing but multiplication of the units place so 4 6 are 24 and here 
after 12 the number after 12 is 13 so 12 into 13 will be the next answer okay so 12 into 13 is 156 so this complete thing is your answer so 124 into 126 is 15624 you see if you multiply this actually you'll take a lot of time but within seconds you were able to complete and trust me these tricks and tips are really useful for you i hope you are very clear with the concept and now it's your time to do it yourself so multiply 254 with 256 and firstly check for the condition check if the units digit the sum of the units digit is 10 or not and then check for the numbers if they are same or not after the units digit and then you can simply apply the technique i'm sure you would have liked this video you would have liked this technique if yes then give this video a big thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe because subscribing is free of cost and don't forget to text me to get your worksheets because worksheets are also free of cost you're not paying any money here so all you need to do is you need to subscribe and you have to watch the video practice the worksheet and you'll be perfect with your calculations so it's all in your hands so do subscribe and do practice the worksheets thanks for watching